Hey guys, Jim Nix, and I am announcing today a new preset pack for Luminar by Mac Fun. Uh, the preset pack is called A Movable Feast, which is inspired by the, uh, the travels and the trips I've taken to Paris, France. Uh, it's a complete uh, ripoff of the title of the same uh, book by Ernest Hemingway, but I couldn't think of anything else and it seemed appropriate. So uh, you can read about it on the blog, um, and if you don't have Luminar, you can just click that link there and go get it. It's, a, it's an amazing product. It's completely replaced Lightroom for me in terms of all my editing. Uh, it doesn't yet have a library or catalog function, but I believe that's coming in the uh, hopefully the first half of this year, at which point I don't really know why I would need Lightroom anymore. Uh, so I love Luminar. I thought what I would do is show you some of the presets and walk you through a couple of edits. So let me do that. Um, to add a preset pack, by the way, you would just, if you're in Luminar, you just say File, and you say Add Custom Presets Pack, and uh, just, uh, you know, once you buy it, uh, if you do, and if you do, thank you very much, um, you'll get an email link to download it. Download it, put it on your desktop, and then go do this step. So File and Add Custom Presets Pack, grab the file, and then it'll just install it, and when you install it, it'll look like this. Let me show you. Here it is, A Movable Feast. And here we go. So here's some of the presets. I'll just run through some of these real quick. I think this one looks awesome. This is Golden Hour in the Saiyan. That looks great on this photo. And the beauty here, of course, with presets is you can come in here, and I'm going to hide the layers and the histogram. You can see all the different stuff that's built into these. Uh, my presets are not, you know, one-click uh, minor adjustments. They're one-click major adjustments. So let me show you the before and after. You can see that's a dramatic change. And the other thing I do often is, I might like it, but I might say, that's a little too orange, you know, a little too not real. Uh, so then you just take the opacity down, right? You still get a beautiful shot. It looks much different, but I think it looks a bit more natural. Uh, or if you want to do that, just bump it all the way up and go for it, right? So um, that's that one. And there's another, uh, this Latin Quarter preset, I think it looks great on this photo. And that's the thing is that, I'll just click through some of these. These were all named after different uh, places or experiences I had while in Paris. Uh, and so I've got black and white. I've got some kind of vintage. Uh, where's my vintage one? These are alphabetical, so it's V. There you go. The vintage uh, filter, I think, looks really cool. So that's a, a quick example on that photo. I'm not going to save that. I'm going to show you a couple of more. Uh, here's a street scene that I caught uh, one afternoon. I was walking around, and I just love these little cafes and stuff. I think they're so awesome looking. But here, I made another vintage kind of preset. Look at that. That's called Café au lait. Uh, here's baguette et fromage, right? So cheese and bread. Uh, a little vintage kind of film look. Here's classic Paris. Um, here's uh, inside Notre Dame, right? There's a lot of different presets here. I think this Latin Quarter one looks great right here. Maybe a little bit blue. So again, you can take it down. Or you could just go into here and say, hey, I want to you know, mess with some of these uh, adjustments here, right? I've got all kinds of different filters built into these presets. So again, these aren't minor adjustments. These are big moves, and uh, that's what I like with presets. I don't think that people want a preset just to slightly change the contrast or make minor adjustments. I think people want to get um, either a one-click finished photo, like you could in this case, uh, or this one, Rue de Rivoli, right, which is a major shopping street in Paris. Um, that could be one click and you're done, but you could also use it as, as a starting point just to get in, you know, sort of inspiration for where you want to take the photo. So there's tons of these. I'm going to show you a couple more here real quick. Uh, here's one. I like this one a lot, uh, this photo. Uh, let me get back into a movable feast. And I've, that was the, uh, obviously the Eiffel Tower. You can probably tell that. Um, I'll click through a couple of these different things. Um, I think this Latin Quarter looks pretty cool. All right, that looks kind of neat there. There was one I was playing with earlier. Let me find it. Uh, this one's cool, Midnight in Paris. Uh, sort of named after the movie there, but it just sort of has that feel, and that's Paris for you, right? So here, I like this one. So here's here's something I was playing around with. Um, I just go add a new layer, right? And I'm going to change, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a little color temperature, and I'm going to do a little top and bottom lighting and tone. So here, I took the preset. Let me close the layers and the histogram. I'm on this new layer. Let me close the preset window. So, okay, so so far I've got the preset on it, which is that first layer, right? And we did that, which I like. But maybe I want to change things. Maybe I want to take the tones down a little bit, make it a little bit darker. Maybe I want to darken the ground a little bit. 
and maybe I want to change the temperature slightly, uh, give it a little bit more of a nighttime kind of feel. And look at that. I mean, let me show you the layers again. That's what I, uh, let me show you what I started with. How about that? There's nothing on the photo. That's the raw file untouched. And there's the preset. And then in just a couple of extra little uh, clicks, I guess. Uh, boom, look at that. So let me show you the before and after, right? Very quick, very easy, very customizable. And again, that's what I love about presets. So here's another one, another example. This is a train station, which I think is the most beautiful train station uh, just about anywhere. It's called Cité. It's real close to Notre Dame. It's wicked cool. Every time I've been there, I've gone in and shot it. Uh, here's a uh, preset called Catacombing. Um, I went through the catacombs and I actually built this preset for making adjustments to some of those photos. But it looks really cool on that. This French Gothic looks kind of cool in a sort of filmy, sort of washed out kind of way. Uh, there's another one I like here. Uh, Lost in the Louvre, right? Kind of a gritty black and white. Wicked cool, a lot of detail. I love that. Um, let me see here. This Montmartre bookstore, that looks pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I built a preset. Here it is, Metro Movements. And I actually built that preset for a lot of the photos I, I took in the in the Metro here. So again, you know, adjust the, uh, adjust the uh, opacity if you want to make adjustments to it. But super easy, super straightforward. Here's a fun one. Plastered in Paris. Uh, gritty, detailed up kind of thing. But again, you know, if it's too much, right, there's zero. You could just add it in increments as you go. Uh, Rude Rivoli looks pretty cool on it. And again, you know, you could stack these. You could just say, hey, I'm going to go add another layer, layer, add an adjustment layer. I'm going to get another preset. So I've got that one on it. And I want to add plastered in Paris. And now I've kind of got a double shot going, right? Just the opacity if you want to. Maybe it's a little too harsh. You know, if you want to reduce the lights or whatever, you could do that, right? Just take it down. Take down some of the highlights. Take down some of the whites. Um, again, super flexible. That's the, not just the beauty of the presets, but really of Luminar itself. It's an amazing product. I'm going to close that. I think I have one more. Yeah, this is a cool one. Uh, this was a street in Montmartre one evening that I shot. And so... I'll just go stick a preset on here, and I think, uh, let me see which one I did. I think I did Moulin Rouge here, which, as the name implies, I shot at the Moulin Rouge. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll do Montmartre Evenings, and then I'm going to go add another layer and stick another preset on here. Uh, not add filter, add preset. Okay, the presets are resetting, and then go stick Moulin Rouge on top of it. And now that's a little too purple, so let me tone that down a little bit. But you can see I quickly I was able to take a photo. Actually, I'm going to take that down a little bit more. Something like that, I think, would be good. So uh, in no time at all, really, I was able to go from kind of a washed out, kind of blah, to a much more exciting looking uh, photo. I'm going to take the opacity down on this one. So that's the beauty is uh, you can mess with the opacity on both layers. Uh, you can also mess with the blend modes, right? So if you wanted to do that, you could change blend mode and experiment with all of these. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video, but it's very simple. It's just a couple of clicks and you're off and running. So one more time, there's the before and there's the after. Much more twilighty uh, kind of soft evening scene with a little shadow, a little mystery, but still enough detail to let you sort of make out the, the cool parts of it. So anyway, that's a, a I was going to say quick. I don't know how quick it is now, but that's a preview of my... Uh, my new preset pack called a, um, a Movable Feast, again, named after the Ernest Hemingway novel where he really talks about Paris a lot uh, and his young days there. And it's really about uh, how, you know, how Paris really moves with you forever. It stays with you forever. It's a movable feast, right? You're feasting on it while you're there, but you're going to carry it with you in your memories forever. And it just seemed like a fitting name. So that's my preset pack. It's live. It's on the blog. You can get it right there. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I appreciate you looking. Let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, friends. Adios.